This is an example of the difference between a present value and a future value calculation. So I've taken an extremely simple example, which if you can follow, you should be able to use for more complicated questions. First of all, imagine that you should have paid somebody a debt of a thousand dollars a year ago. So he's been chasing you for the money for a year, but you've been putting off paying it. You happen to know that somebody else is going to give you 2,000 years in two years time. We want to know what is your net worth today. In other words, we need to date the two transactions, the $1,000 and the $2,000, and calculate their value today. And then we can subtract one from the other and find your net worth. So here is the scheme. Always do um, a little drawing like this. Here is today. We've set the focal date as today because we say in the question, it's as simple as possible, what is your net worth today? But it could be any point along this line or even either side of this line. It doesn't matter. But I've just set the focal date as today. And everything goes from the focal date. So the $1,000, the time difference between the $1,000 and today is one year. And the time difference between today and the receipt of the $2,000 is two years. So from the point of view of today, the $1,000 was due a year ago. So naturally, wouldn't you expect it to have increased in value by today? Yes, just like you put money in the bank, it increases in value over time. So this is going to be a future value calculation. Stand here at this $1,000 and think, well, today, the focal date, that's in the future. So I need to use the future value formula. And it's going to be a greater sum, isn't it? Because it's got one year to increase in value. So this calculation, the $1,000 will be worth, and then we'll just use a simple interest calculation, P brackets 1 plus RT, 1,000 times 1 plus 0.1, because it's 10%, and it's for one year. And so the value on the focal date, the dated value of the $1,000 is 1,100. The person who lent you $1,000 is going to want his $1,000 back plus the interest. That's why it's greater than $1,000. And that's why it's a future value calculation. Now, you happen to know that somebody else is going to pay you $2,000 two years into the future. But you want to get that money today. So it's a present value calculation. And you're getting it two years before you should. So you wouldn't expect to get as much as $2,000. It's going to be less, isn't it? It's a present value calculation. So here, think of the present value of the $2,000. You are receiving it before it is due. So it's present rather than future. And it's going to be worth less. So we use the present value calculation. The present value is the maturity value of $2,000 divided by 1 plus RT. And the rate is 0 0.1, 10% for two years. So the present value of the $2,000 is 1666.67. A present value calculation is less than 2000 because you're taking the money two years before it is due. So the net worth, your net worth today on the focal date is going to be those two things together. 
you are owed $2,000. The present value of the $2,000 is 1666.67, but your debt of $1,000 has also increased because you've let it run for a year. So therefore, the difference between the two is your net worth, which is 566.67. Thank you.